In this tutorial, we'll take a look at making an object follow a path or maybe a circle, and then when it gets to, say, the end of a path, then it turns around and comes back the other direction. Or if it gets around a circle, and when it gets to the end of the circle, it goes rotating back the other direction. So it creates an oscillating effect. All right, and it's pretty straightforward. And if you've seen the tutorial on curve path versus curve follow in my modifiers playlist, that's kind of a pre prerequisite for this video. But uh, this is fairly straightforward. Let's see. So let me just add a circle. So uh, right here, there's a Bezier circle like this. And if you've seen from the other video, what I want to do is with the curve modifier, I want to basically p pick this object and go up to the modifier button, add a modifier, and add a curve deformation right here, like this. All right, and then I want to pick the curve that I have set in the seam, which is the Bezier circle. All right, so now it's not aligned to it yet, but it will be here in a second. So what I'll do is I'll press the cir click the circle, press Shift F S, and move the uh, cursor to the selected. It moves it there, and then see how that's all warped like that. Then I'll click this one and I'll press Shift S and put the selection to the cursor. All right, so now it's sitting on the circle like this. If I come down here and press Alt A, uh, well, actually, nothing happens because that's the way you do it when you do curve follow. In this case, what I want to do is I want to move it along an axis. So let me just move it along. See, I have the deformation axis is set at X like here. So now I can just take this and move it on X and it'll rotate around the circle. Or if I want to go this way, it'll rotate the other way like that. All right, so what I'll do is I'll start back here at frame, you know, at a particular location, say here in the center. And then th you'll get the idea. It's, and then if you don't get the idea already, actually. So I'm just going to set, uh, with the sphere selected, I'll set a location keyframe, I. And then maybe I'll come up to frame 60. And then I'll move this over till it's basically, you know, all the way around the circle like that. You'll have to, you can work on the specifics. And then I'll set I again. And then set another location keyframe. And then maybe up to 120. I'll come back to this other location. And I'll just bring it back to the center like this. And I'll set I again for location. And then if I come back here and play it, you'll see it comes around there and then just oscillates back and forth. All right. And then if you've seen my tutorials on the graph editor and animation and keyframes and things like that, then you can extrapolate that out and then just make that run forever. So, you know, maybe we'll just do it because there's only three minutes into this tutorial. It'll only take a second. I'll grab the graph editor right here, an extra window like this. And there's my X keyframe value going there. So we just come down here to this channel mode extrapolation. And I'll just make it cyclic like that. And there it is. It runs it out like this. And then when we run it, cruises around, comes back, and just back and forth like that. Okay? All right, well, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next lesson.